it makes me appreciate. Uh, I mean, really, the overwhelming sense of gratitude and talk about respecting your elders. I respected them anyway, but. Oh, yeah. Now. I bow <laughs> and I thank them again and again. Broadway legend Audra McDonald wanted to learn about her enslaved ancestors. We were able to take her mother's family back to her fourth great grandparents, Edmund and Hannah Kellogg. Both Edmund and Hannah were born into slavery in the early 1800s. And as we searched for evidence of their lives, we found something precious. The 1860 census contains a slave schedule for a white planter named George Kellogg. It lists Kellogg's slaves, not by name, but by gender, color, and age. And these details allowed Audra to reach a powerful conclusion. Now remember, this census taken in 1860, so Edmund would have been in his 50s. Right. While your fourth great grandmother, Hannah, would have been in her 40s, okay? Tell me what you read. Male, age 58. Female, age 45. Wow. It's such a mixture of feelings. Because you want to find them. I, you know, I was hoping you could get back as far as you guys could. And that's wonderful, but then it's like, and here they are listed as property. Mm -hmm. Even though you know it, and it's a part of our history, and we know it, it's, some, it's, it's interesting to s see it in literally black and white. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Have you thought much about your enslaved ancestors, what they must have gone through, what that must have been like? I oh, always. Just the resilience that they had to have had mm. to, to survive. I could never have survived that. No, me either. Couldn't have survived. No, I tell my son, I would have flung slavery. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Got just a big it's old too hard. You see those slave cabins? You know, and you no go, No running Lord. water, no anything. Mm -mm. And, and knowing, especially, you know, I, I, when I was pregnant with uh, my, my little one and thinking, you know, if I were enslaved, this child would not belong to me. Yeah, that's right. And who knows if I would be able to keep my baby or if they would take her away or, you know, I mean, so I, the resilience, I just. Audra's ancestors were resilient indeed. They gave birth to a daughter, Amanda Kellogg, sometime in the early 1840s. And Amanda lived the first 20 years of her life in slavery. The experience, however, did not break her. In the 1870 census for Georgia, we found her married to a man named Haywood Krosky. Haywood and Amanda are Audra's third great grandparents. Five years after emancipation, they were together on a farm, raising a family. Would you please read the transcription? Krosky Haywood, 27, farm hand, value of personal estate, $100 cannot read, cannot write. Amanda, 25, cannot write. Charles, four, Hiram, two. Mm. Wow. This is five years after the end of the Civil War. <laughs> Look what they did. Mm. Look at what they achieved. Mm. Sorry, that's what I think. Good for them. Good for them. Look where they started, look where they ended up. And that their children were born free. Yeah. And they made something. They are the foundation. Yeah. That's the root of your tree. Yeah, that's beautiful. Retrieving lost stories can be an act of restoration, not only of our ancestors' resilience, but of the resilience of the entire human community. To see more incredible stories, click here and watch the next video.